Good morning. I started this way too late. Um, I, in nine minutes, have my interview orientation thing that I'm doing. My interview's not today, it's not till next week. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. It's, you know, 7.21 a.m. here, very early. I'm a little tired drinking my coffee. Um, I, I don't have an appetite yet, but I have a little, a little bar for if we have like a break when I can eat it. This is supposed to be two and a half hours long. I'm super excited. Um, I did plan on just sitting down and having some coffee and reading through the the stuff, that they, the information they gave us to see before the orientation, um, but then I clicked on each little category and they were all hour-long videos, so I'm a little bit behind on that. Um, but that's okay, I'll watch those before my interview, and I, I, I've researched this school so much that like, I think I under, I think I know honestly most of that information. Um, and then just one little last update. I've been working out so much that now this blazer doesn't really fit me anymore because my muscles are too big. So I just thought that was a fun little update. I'll let you know how I'm feeling after the orientation. This is just a quick update. Everything's going well. Good, I muted. My video's off. Okay, perfect. Um, we're having a quick little break. I'm trying to eat my bar, but I still don't have much of an appetite. Um, but I love this school. I love it so much. We just talked to the Dean of Admissions for a long time and she was just so nice and I asked her a question and she said it was a really good question so that was nice. And yeah, I'm excited. I want to go here so bad. Good morning. <laughs> Today is the day of my interview at Rowan. I am excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm just trying to like relax and be myself and just have a conversation with this doctor, which is what the interview is. It's just a conversation. Um, I don't have anything scripted. I'm just, I've thought about these answers for months now, so I will just, like I have my talking points, like I know my reasons for wanting to do this and wanting to go to the school and who I am if they ask about me and stuff like that, so I'm just gonna trust that. Um, Nothing has ever felt more meant to be, so I really hope this works out, and if not, it's gonna be okay, because I'm just so glad that I've made it this far. <laughs> and I know I was supposed to update you with how I was prepping for this interview, but I honestly, like, sat down one day and thought about the things they might ask me and did some brainstorming, and then I kind of just let it go and was like, let me just think about what makes me excited about this school, and... So I don't know, I, like I did a lot of research on the school obviously and found even more things that I love, but um, yeah, I think that um, they say that the interview is the time where you just show them who you are. Um, oh, Nina's calling. Okay, I might have to update you after because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to this lady. That was very nice. Nina just called to warm up my voice so that it wouldn't be the first time I'm talking today. And also to remind me that they already know that I'm very smart, that this is just to seal the deal. So I just got to seal the deal. <laughs> I want to go to this school so bad. I am breaking out. Because that, that's how bad I want it. No, it's, it's, it's stress. But it's just because, like, I'm so close. Um, okay, this is chaotic. I am going to just sit to myself a bit and, and get ready for this interview, okay? I'll let you know how it goes. I did it. <laughs> I did my interview, um, it was with Dr. Ayana Zelli, um, she was awesome, she was really kind, and we just talked, it was like mostly a conversation, she did ask some like questions, she was like, okay, now I have a couple questions, and she would ask them like, what is something that you, actually I don't know if I'm supposed to say the question, so I won't, but she asked some questions. And I did my best to answer. I did like have like some panicked moments where I struggled to think of examples So I just said like okay just a second I need to think and then when I asked her a question later She actually needed to take a second to think as well. So that made me feel better um, But yeah now I just I'm trying not to think about it because when I think about it part of me is like Oh was that cringy when I said that so I'm just trying not to think about it hoping that I just did a really great job She seemed to enjoy our conversation. I really liked talking to her um, the only thing that's making me nervous right now is that I, I want it so bad. So, I'm just hoping I get in. I guess I'll find out in like mid-May probably. Um, so just, you know, a couple more weeks of waiting. I'm gonna cry so much if I, oh my god. 
if I get in. If I don't get in, I will be back to the essays. I'll start writing essays again. Um, my girlfriend just texted me saying, you, you did your part, now you just have to wait, which is true. Like, I did all I could, I did my best, and we'll see how it goes. I never would have thought that I would have an interview at the end of April. This is very late. I'll find out in mid-May. If I start class, like orientation week is July 11th. So I have, you know, a little, like about a month to um, move to the East Coast, but I'll do it. I want to do it. I hope I get to do it. It's such a good program. They have a great match rate, but they just, they feel like a family. Like, they are all so kind to each other, and they are kind to me, even though I'm not even paying to go there yet. And it just seems so supportive and collaborative, and I just have such a good feeling about that school. So, I think, you know, in all the things that you guys say in the comments, you know, all the compliments that you give me and stuff like that, I feel like this is the school for me, because I think the things that that you like about me or the things that I like about this school. So I just want to go there and be nurtured into becoming a doctor, like surrounded by love and community and then be able to like give that back to my patients. So hopefully, hopefully it works. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna eat some breakfast because this was a 8 a.m. interview um, and work out and just try and have a good next couple weeks until I find out. Okay. Bye.